A city on the peninsula is moving forward with a plan to ban smoking in one of its downtown areas. But as Max Darrow explains, there are still questions over how to enforce it. Take a walk with John Kivranian down Broadway in Burlingame, and you'll quickly learn he cares deeply about his community. My family has been on Broadway for 43 years, and this is my life. He owns Nuts for Candy and Toys and heads up the Broadway Business Improvement District. And he says for a while, there's been a problem with smoking outside the businesses along Broadway. People chat outside the front door at different locations of businesses, and while they're smoking and chatting, the smoke comes into the business. Secondhand smoke, the major concern. He says he's heard complaints about this from other business owners, customers, employees, and locals for years. And the problem got worse when parklets went up. It's been a problem for several years, and I think it was time for me to take the initiative. Late last year, Kevranian brought the idea of a smoking ban in the Broadway Commercial District to the city of Burlingame. City staff surveyed 38 businesses to get their take on it. 25 supported it, one did not, and 12 declined to weigh in. This month, the city council approved a pilot program prohibiting smoking, including vapes, marijuana, and tobacco, in front of all street facing Broadway businesses. Next is um, trying to install signs around Broadway and let people know that we have no smoking on Broadway. So the big question here is enforcement. Even though most of the business owners here along Broadway are in favor of the smoking ban, they acknowledge that enforcing it is going to be tricky. And some even question, is this going to truly make a difference? For the pilot program, city staff suggested a long grace period prior to enforcement actions partnered with widespread education about the ban and that those in the business improvement district should be prepared to self-police during the test run. Lucy Dole is often busy, tucked away in her shop, Burlingame Laguna Florist. She much prefers the smell of flowers to smoke. However, she's not sure self-policing and signage will be enough. At least we start someone to tell them not to smoke, but I don't know how that's going to be affected. Hopefully, um, people would follow the rule, respect, other people who doesn't smoke. Kevranian thinks education, signage, and reminders from business owners will be enough to make a difference, and the ban will benefit the community. I feel great about it, and I'm getting phone calls, text messages from the community and business owners thanking me for the initiation of the ban. An added bonus, he thinks it'll mean fewer cigarette butts littering the streets of Burlingame. Similar bans are in place in Walnut Creek, Palo Alto, and in Santa Cruz.